Welcome back to another edition of the Taste Tour. I saw something over there. Oh, there's ghosts. Yeah, ghosts around. How do you know? Just probably. <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Taste Tour is back. Uh, this time we have a product that I believe I've only seen one time. I haven't seen it anywhere else. It's the Budweiser Brewmasters Project 12 Beechwood Bach. That's the name of it. Second edition, it says. 6.0% alcohol by volume. Um, anything That's else That's number 43,229. Yeah, 43229 is the batch. Who knows if they just stuck a number? Yeah. Who knows if all the batches have that number? I would guess. Right, yeah. Smells bocky. Nice hue. It does have a bockish hue. Mm. I don't mind that. It's pretty good. I don't mind that. The only thing that I would say about it is compared to most box I've had at that at that alcohol range, it's just ever so slightly more watery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. But n not a turnoff, really. Yeah. Because in fact, I'll be honest. Sometimes I can deal with that taste of that bock a little bit, but it gets to a point where it's like, nah. Yeah. I'm not doing that shit anymore. This I think I could drink more of than just than like because a normal bock. I mean, I get through half of it and I'm like, nah, nah, nah. yeah. I'm a little, I'm a little done with this. The, yeah, I might say the same thing. The overall that. sweetness and richness of it sometimes just gets to me. You know. Mm -hmm. Like the flavor, but I can't do a lot of it. But I like this. Yeah, I, think good. A, I like box, and I like, I like. I think this one's pretty good. Um, Notice anything about it? I mean, um, it says here, deep amber lager brewed with chocolate and caramel, caramel, whatever malts, and finished on beechwood chips. So I don't taste chocolate really. I taste the, yeah. the caramel malts, caramel malts, whatever. Beechwood chips, I can't really say that I know what those taste like. <laughs> so, I don't regularly eat beach Often, chips. Often, I don't chew on those. But, I'm not a beaver. I mean, yeah, well, pretty much what you said. I think it's a pretty good box. Slightly more watery than other ones, you know, box that are around 6% alcohol. Right. Um, there's definitely a little more watery thing going on here, but I like it. I don't think that the watery thing necessarily, to me at least, degrades the value of the degrades the integrity of the beer because I like I just explained I don't necessarily it's not inherently a bad thing mm -hmm. it's it's stylistically it depends on what you're going for now in this case mm -hmm. I think it's watery just because it's a little cheaper and all that stuff mm -hmm. but it really just depends on what you're going for I, to me saying watery isn't necessarily a bad thing right I agree with that I would agree with that so I don't necessarily mean it in a bad way, it's just a descriptive word to, to compare this to other box I've had. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I really like it. I mean, I'm, I'm quite impressed. I've, I, I really think that most of the uh, major breweries, Budweiser, Miller, all these companies like that, you know, Coors and all, I feel like since the craft brewery movement has been taking off so much that they've kind of... I mean, everybody knows that they have the biggest market share still by far. It's not even close. Right. However, I feel like they're trying to kind of expand their, yeah, yeah, yeah. their portfolios now. Well, I think they at least want to, uh, even, if it's not, even if it's not just from a money standpoint, which of course pretty much everything any company does is basically from a money standpoint, but even if it's not just from a money standpoint, I wouldn't be surprised if just the uh, reputation among beer people. Right. I don't. I, I bet they want to bolster that and not and not be criticized for being. Oh well, that's just, just shit. Exactly. And they would like to be thought of in a different light amongst those people. Which meh, maybe I, or maybe not. I just speculation. But I wouldn't be surprised if that was the reason to expand and try things like this. Well, there are. I can already. I already know that there are some people that that's not going to work with, and then there mm -hmm. are some. That are willing, like us, pretty much willing to give anything a shot. Right. I mean, we've never really had a great experience with Budweiser or anything like that. But something new comes out, we want to try it. Right. So it's not like we, you know, have this affinity for Budweiser. No, every new Budweiser product, gotta try it. It's not 
Right. It's, that's not it at all. But, it's, but, but to some degree, it's even more interesting than saying a craft brewery coming right. out with a new Bach. It is. Because, you know, it, it's, it's on such a large scale when it's a company yeah. like that. It's that it's like, it's a bigger deal be, just because, well, they're a bigger company and better distribution, blah, blah, blah. So if they do that thing, right sort of thing regularly, it's going to be in more places. Yeah, and exactly. Be, and, and I've almost been, I, I've almost been, uh, you know, interested in seeing what, because for about five years now, or five or so years, that I've seen them coming out progressively with these different things like this, and, you know, they're like their margarita line, the lime margaritas, I think they're called, that whole line, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Just, just interesting stuff that they'll do. They'll, I mean, not like the lime margaritas craft beer, but it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, anyway, I'm going to rate this a seven and a half. I think that it's got a good Bach flavor. I'm not in, I'm generally not a huge Bach fan. However, this is pretty nice. Yeah, I agree. Does the label not remind you of, no, I don't know if it's whatever, does the label not remind you of uh, when Sam would do the the tests basically, like yeah. the vote. Yeah, the, the vote uh, tests to see what they call them. They have the brew, A, the, B. Uh, the one where the people would brew them. Right. And, they, and right. Yeah, 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 it yeah. does. It, the, the label sort of reminds me of that. But anyways, um, I would. I, I'm gonna give this. Uh, I'll give it a six and a half. I think it's actually. I would recommend checking it out if you yeah. if you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, I would too. I like it. So. We've rambled on long enough this episode. Yeah, Taste probably. our oil return. Check out the Budweiser Beechwood Bach. 6.0% alcohol by volume. A 6.5, a 7.5. Those are the two ratings. Those are the two ratings. 7 is the average. Taste our oil return. Thanks for joining us and uh, join us on another episode.